So I've been back to school shopping with our six-year-old, and um, the latest clothing trends are even more expensive than I was expecting. It's a lot of money, but it depends on where you go. If you make some smarter choices, at least smarter than apparently I'm making, Ellen Taylor says we can save some money. Ellen, what do you know? You can... Yeah, you can save some money and still be trendy because I know Travis, your daughter, is very trendy. But yes, there's no reason for you to break the bank. Some back-to-school trends, of course, on a budget. That's our favorite word this week, especially, right? More coming up next. Hi there. Welcome back to Q13 News. So this morning we're giving you more tools to make sending your kids back to school a lot easier and maybe not quite so expensive. Ellen is focused on fashion. She's at the South Hill Goodwill showing us how to be fashionable without spending money like we're fashionable. <laughs> Right. I mean, listen, being trendy and fashionable, uh, it doesn't need to break the bank. You don't need to be rich to have all these high-end designer things. And even if you do want some of those designer things, you can find it on a deal at Goodwill. So I'm going to move out of the way. I want to show you some back-to-school fashions. First up is our friend Whitney. Whitney is actually an employee here at Goodwill. She's going to be the one that's going to tell us what the trends are as well because I, I know what they are, but I'm not, a, I'm not young. I'm not hip. I'm not any of that stuff. So Whitney, let's talk about you know what you've got on. And then I know we got Ruby coming down too. What's in style this season? Um, we have some, uh, well, my outfit is based off of Stranger Things that just oh. came out with season three. Yeah. So this is my retro 80s gear based off of Eleven from that movie. Oh, the show. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. And so and people like, is this the trend that kids are actually wearing at schools now too? Mostly retro prints, yes. Retro prints. <laughs> and high-waisted mom jeans and, of course, your classic Converse. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Now, we do have some... Hey, guys, I'm going to need you to come a little bit over here so that way my friends over here on the camera, they can see you. Yep, come on up. Now, what are some of these trends? I mean, I see 07 over here. He's like got his the, the arms out. Ooh. You know, can I... I got to ask you, why? Is it too early for you? Mm, yes. Yes, it's a little too early. I get it. School hasn't started yet, has it? No. No, okay. So we woke you up from summer vacation, but I can't, I actually have you over here to kind of show, do a little turn for me. That's a cool trend. Now, Whitney, how much does that top cost? I would say about maybe five ninety nine. Easy. Simple. Um, jean jackets, shoes, things like that. I mean, I can get everything here? Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, now, what is something that every mom needs to get for their kid that is going to make them the coolest kid in class? Hmm. Ooh, tough question. That is a tough question. Mm -hmm. Um, I would say you have to ask them first. <laughs> I okay. would say, um, you don't want them to feel uncomfortable. You want them to feel confident sure. and be like, yeah, I'm the coolest kid in school today. I feel confident and this is what I want to wear. And Got mom, it. I don't want to wear that. Like you don't want them to be like that when sure. you go to school. But what we did show you is a whole bunch of different options and trends. We got the sporty, we've got the chic, we've got the stranger things retro style too. So we're going to show you more of what you can get here, including backpacks, school supplies, and again, show you some of those trends so that way moms, dads, you can keep your kids hip without breaking the bank. That's the best part, right? Guys, going to send it back on over to you. Ellen, thank you very much. All right, still to come, the C